After a great day's riding to Tumut, we make our way home via Wee Jasper, stopping at Yass at Clementine Bakery for some fantastic pies and then some back roads home via Goulburn. started out on Wee Jasper Road, which at this southern end is actually broken into two pieces with a dog leg around Red Hill. So we didn't do this southern section again as we did that yesterday. Just riding on Bombali Creek Road, heading to Billapula Road and then Wee Jasper Road. do this out and back to uh, to Brindabella Road but we're gonna make a left here on Billapula Road another really good quality pine forest road it eventually becomes dirt but that's way after we just got here kangaroo on the left there Wee Jasper Road, turned right, and it starts off sealed. This bit so far the same as it's been last, it was pretty hard packed. Wee Jasper itself, 35 kilometres. this morning so we delayed our start till about 9am and rather than do the southern section of Wee Jasper we headed down to Bombali Creek Road and Bilapalula Road which we knew that Dave and Rene hadn't done before so that might have been interesting for them. video you'll notice a mixture of Renee's handlebar mounted GoPro footage and my chin mount footage. This is one of the windy sections, there's a number of windy sections corrugated in the corners. Pine forests to the right. Lots of beehives along the way. We did Wee Jasper Forest Road on another ride just to check that area out. It meant you stayed on Brindabella Road a bit longer as well. It's not a bad ride. Half of Wee Jasper Forest Road is also sealed. Or third. Yeah, that's that's it. That's the Wee Jasper Forest Road, yeah. Look at this, they've done some some clearing here. Yeah, when we came out of there, it was really gravelly last time actually. They seem to do a lot of maintenance on this road. Look at this, opened it up a bit, made it wider. A few more trees locked. And how smooth it is here. Golly, look how wide it is here.
Were you, you going the right way? Huh? Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, shit. I don't know. The confusion here was that the narrower road, where Jasper Road kept on going to the right, but the wider road is the bit that you think is the way you'd have to go. So Renee rounds David up and they head back on track. Cut new roads, looks like the forestry into the forest, particularly the forest on the left. And there's David and Rene. Jasper Road's a pretty easy ride, very smooth, a lot of gradings taken place, you can see the evidence there, and it'd be a great ride for adventure riders of all abilities, especially beginners. the Reflections campground and then cross over the Wee Jasper Creek. The road is sealed for the rest of the way. Coming into what we'll call the main street of Wee Jasper, we'll see the public school on the left which was built in 1899. And up a little further on the right, you've got the general store which was actually closed in around 2009. So it's about 15 years since that's been opened. And the distillery just behind that was actually closed when we went by, but it's usually open Friday to Sunday. It's definitely a scenic bridge, but the water levels look pretty low. Riding in beautiful conditions, blue sky, reasonably cold but sunny. And as we got away from Wee Jasper and towards Yes, we basically turned a bend and rode into fog which got thicker and thicker. Wee Jasper Road and the, the visibility has dropped and now it's picking up a little bit again. I could barely see Tony in front of me before. Clearing a little, that. so that this road has been in much better condition than the road last, much better. The loose gravel on those bends up there. Gee, it's a, it's like a police bike. So I think it is a sure it's not. They were going really slow, so we thought we'd pass and take a look for ourselves. Water levels. David's the pie connoisseur and Renee's tip was to stop at the Clementine Bakery at Yass and the pies certainly were very good. So we're turning right onto Blakeney Creek Road where they call south, it's, there's a south and a north. Well, we've just come out of the Yass's fog as well, so that was interesting. Lakeney Creek Road, it gets interrupted by Wright Park Road. 
Road, so you're on that for a K or two. And back to Blakeney Creek Road, and that's what we're on now. Nice. Yeah, we turn right onto Rugby Road, and this is where the gravel starts for a while. We go a few kilometres down here, we make a left. 4.2 kilometres. It's a very tight left. It's just too dusty, I had to sit back a little bit. It's called Bullies Crossing. going to be any water in the crossing down here. I don't know if we've seen any water here before. No water, no. She's dusty. kilometres on this bullies crossing and we'll turn onto Sapphire Road, it'll be a left turn in Sapphire Road. takes you back way into Goulburn. It's a really good run into Goulburn. Oh, I could see you um, somewhere through the dust. Rock Garden. Gullen Creek. We take this all the way to a two intersection. Yep, the whole way. Just going to do a right and a left. Road to Goulburn. 46 kilometres makes it about a half an hour. Range Road's a good quality back road which initially passes through a wind farm before it takes us all the way into Goulburn. He's taking a bit of a shortcut there.
less than 200 kilometres to home, today's ride capped off a great weekend.